Mason Ewing, blinded at 15, is successful as a fashion designer in Paris. Now he wants to create a teen comedy and a dramatic series for television. He's been blind since age 15. But nobody can say that Mason Ewing lacks vision. Overcoming a nightmarish childhood, Ewing, 30, has been a successful fashion designer in Paris. For the last six months, however, his mind has been set on Hollywood, where he hopes to create a teen comedy and a dramatic series for television. Born in Cameroon to an American father and a Cameroonian mother and raised in France, his own life has been filled with drama. His mother, a seamstress and dressmaker, was murdered when Ewing was four, he said. As an older child, Ewing remembers watching fashion shows and seeing glamorous top models like Naomi Campbell on the catwalk. I decided to work in fashion and follow in my mother's footsteps," he recalls. Separated from his father, he lived for a time with a great-grandmother in Cameroon. But, Ewing said, his life took a dark turn at age six when he was sent to stay with relatives near Paris. He remembers being routinely beaten and abused for seven years. He was whipped with belts, his arms were burned by candles, and he was forced to stand with his arms extended as he held heavy books in his hands, he says. I lived with my uncle and aunt and they began to fight me. They would awaken me at four in the morning to clean the house and wash dishes. When I wet the bed in fear, they took my head and bashed it on the bathtub he recalled. They poked my eyes and put pigment in them. Ewing was bashed and kicked in the head so often that he suffered a seizure that landed him in the hospital, where, he said, he was in a coma for three weeks. When he awoke, he was blind. The pigment Ewing mentioned is actually a peppery African hot sauce. According to a friend and associate, Raphael Becker, who translates for him, he said Ewing is convinced that the spicy hot sauce is to blame for burning his optic nerves and killing the cells of his eyes. I don't know why they did this to me, Ewing said. It was just wickedness. French authorities eventually intervened and placed young Ewing in a series of foster homes. He studied physical therapy in college before deciding in 2001 to pursue his childhood dream of fashion design.